Hey queens, I'm Bailey. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about some products that Influencer sent me. They sent me a box full of, well, not full of, but there's three Revlon products in it. So basically I'm just going to be trying them on, doing a little first impression and seeing how they are. So, uh, yeah, if you're new here, please hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and everyone hit that like button because it would help you girl out. Now let's get started. All right, so first of all, I want to do my brows, um, and I am scared to use this. This is the Colorstay Semi-Permanent Brow Ink. I don't know. Uh, uh, the permanent part kind of scares me. I don't exactly know how permanent is semi-permanent, so we'll see. And I'm... Uh, my brows are pretty dark, but I don't know if this is going to be dark enough. Um... It says it has a built-in spoolie, which I don't know where that's hidden at. Oh, apparently. Oh, whoa, that is so weird. Okay, so it shows this girl with like a bare brow, and then it shows her day one, and her brow looks pretty dark. And then day three, her brow, I guess, doesn't have stuff in it, and it looks darker. I, I don't know. It's interesting. Um... Alternative to microblading, laminating, or tenting. Three day flawless brow, so it lasts three days? I don't know how I feel about that. Um, okay, so you can do a laminated look, you can do a microbladed look, or you can do a natural look. I think I'm gonna try the microbladed micro look. Does it say anything about the card? No. Okay. Um, it does say that this is available in four shades. I don't know what shades those are, but hopefully they're, it's a good range, you know? But these days there's so many different shades of hair. Like, you really can't have them. Anyways. Okay, so the spoolie, allegedly. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. Um... Cool, 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 cool. I probably will never use a spoolie, spoolie just because it's so tiny and I just have so many other spoolies that I'll probably end up using instead and I'll probably forget that it's there. Um, but this is the product. Oh my god, that is, it's a literally full of product. Okay. Let me get a mirror here. I'm so scared. So scared. Okay, um, wait, first, let's test it out on my hand. Okay, ooh, all right. Okay, well, probably just stained my hand, but it's cool. Uh, just gonna... Wow, that's cool. Oh, I got it in my little... Oh. Well, that's probably going to stay there. It's hard not to get it in my little uh, split there. Let's see, go underneath now. Usually, I have my brows just filled in with a, like, brow pencil, and they usually turn out decently dark so I'm used to a like really dark brow okay I'm not doing a very good job of microblading my brows here that's okay that a I like the way that looks I don't hate this product I feel okay so this is what I will say I feel like it dries down like really dry and I feel it feels weird when I'm like moving my face around um I don't hate my brows right now they look a lot more natural than usual I mean they're not natural don't get me wrong they look pretty dark but they're a lot natural than usual and I might I might actually really 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 love that I forgot to mention that I don't have any makeup on my nose because I'm going to work later and I have to wear a mask at work 
and it always just rubs my nose like really bad compared to the rest of my face. So I just don't even bother. But um, next we're gonna go into the little eyeshadow quad. I, okay, I wish they would not put all this tape on here, but I guess they have to to keep people from like opening them up at the store, but it's still just really annoying. Okay, it comes with one of these. I'm throwing that away. I don't use those, so. All right, so this is the color story that I've got. Um, is this in the color story stylish? I think so. Okay, cute little, cute little color story. Um, I've already primed my lids. I'm first gonna take this shade right here and put it all in my crease and blend up a little bit. Just, um, wow, that's super powdery just to have like oh my god oh my god oh my god revlon what the heck is this wow okay first of all the shade stunning i love this shade um second of all uh hello the pigmentation this is maybe i need to try more revlon oh my god i am sleeping on them what the heck that is stunning. I love shades like this paired with like a rusty color. Oh my gosh, it's like my bread and butter, baby. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is so pretty. Wow, and it blended out so nice. Oh my gosh. Now there is a lot of, wait, is there fallout? Okay, it doesn't look like it, but there was a lot of kickback in the pan, which is whatever. I'm gonna take this shade over here, throw it in my crease as well. It's slightly deeper, not crazy deep, but it's definitely really, really pretty. Okay, okay, I changed my mind. Okay, it's really pigmented. But it's not as pigmented as like the pinky shade, which is pretty good. So then it doesn't like overpower the pink shade underneath. Any kickback or any fallout? There's a tiny bit of fallout. But nothing that has me concerned. Usually I do my eyes first, but today I just kind of said screw it and just decided to do my face first today. I'm gonna take this brown shade and put it on my outer corner here. Okay, where's, where's the pigmentation I need? Okay, this is where the fallout's at. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Hopefully I can get that off my face. That's, that's not as pigmented, but it's like, okay, I'm not mad about that. Lastly, I'm gonna go in with the shimmer on my lid. Girl, the shimmer better come through. I'm first gonna try it dry. It seems really soft in the pan. Okay, let's, let's see. That's, it's pretty. Maybe I should try it wet. Yeah, it's pretty. It's nothing that's like blowing me out of the park. It is a really soft formula. There's a lot of fallout. It's like kind of breaking up in the pan super flaky that is the word for it really flaky it's really pretty though okay and that's how the shimmer looks after i used it looks kind of rough which is whatever but um i would like to say that this palette is very comparable to hold on, to this morphe happy hour palette
Do you see? They're like very much the same, which I kind of like because I don't really support Morphe anymore. So if I like project pan this and then still have this, it'd be perfect because I create very similar looks with this palette. So it works for me. It works for me. Um, and then basically my lower lash line is just going to be the same. So I'm not even going to bother like talking about it. Um, so the last thing I have to try is the Colorstay Line Creator Double Ended Eyeliner in Blackout. Um, it says one coal, two liquid. So I guess it has, a, I don't know what a coal pencil is. I assume it's just like a, kind of like a gel liner, I'm assuming. Okay. Oh, it's like a crayon. Okay, so yeah. What is it? Oh, it's like a metallic black. And it's not like as black as I like. Um, okay, I'm not gonna be trying this today because it's just, it does not go with the look. But I'll try the liquid one. I'm kind of scared because I don't really like liquid liners. So. And I'm not gonna talk my way through this because it's eyeliner, you guys know. This is why I never use liquid liner because my liner always ends up 10 times thicker than it needs to be. I don't know what it is. I just don't like liquid liner. I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay, this is the finished look. I don't, Okay, I love the eyeshadow look. Very cute, I love it. Very me. And I love my brows, my brows look great, but I just, me and liquid liner just don't get along and maybe I just need to practice with it more and maybe I will, probably won't, but maybe I will, you know, and I just need to work with it more because this side is so much thicker than this side and the thing of it is, is that Liquid liner doesn't go over my creasy, wrinkly lids as well as a felt tip liner does. I don't know why felt tip liners work better on my lids. They just do, and I have more control. Um, so, ah, yeah, I just, I can't get with the liquid liner. I'll try the, like, crayon liner, see if I like it. If I don't, I'll probably end up decluttering this because this just is not up my speed. However, like really impressed with this brow product. Um, really impressed with this eyeshadow palette, so good. Um, just a heads up, the shimmer actually falls out onto your face after a while and then you have shimmer all over your face. Almost similarly to when you get black eyeshadow all over your face, except for it's like a coppery shimmer. So um, probably should invest in a glitter glue and then apply it, just a heads up. I would give this box about like a, I'd say an eight out of 10. Um, this just was a flop kind of. We'll see if I end up using the crayon liner or not, but who knows. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.